Before we started the internship program, which was a couple of years ago, uh, our whole setup would be a camera and a computer, and that's about it. And it was very basic. Uh, the conference mandated a couple of years ago that you have to do basketball video streaming. So that's really when we started doing it. When I arrived here at Eastern Connecticut State University, the broadcasting system was made up of a laptop and one headset and one small camcorder. It's now grown into one of the more respected broadcasting systems in all of New England for internet sports broadcasting. When I had originally thought of all these internships, I thought this is a good way for students to get involved hands-on and they can also take a lot from it academically. My whole entire approach to this internship was to gain as much experience as possible, whether it be the technical side of broadcasting or the on-air talent side. And I really feel like this internship has really gave me a lot of experience that I really wouldn't have gotten anywhere else. Most impressive to me is the professional approach. These students are generally on their own, self-directed, and they're coming here, they're professionally dressed, they understand the sports, they have quality questions that they're asking, and they're raising the level of our streaming broadcasts and interactions with our games, our coaches, and our student athletes. Our fans benefit. When you talk about a liberal arts education practically applied, that's what this is. The broadcasting internship gives students an opportunity uh, to work with, within the university. Instead of having to go out and find the internships at the ESPNs and the NBCs and the WFSBs, they're able to stay on campus and work with other students in collaboration to put together broadcasts for all the athletic events at Eastern Connecticut. The TriCaster also allows many students to get involved with one broadcast. We have someone on the video switcher, someone working graphics, someone directing behind those two people along with the people that are on air two to three camera operators as well. If they have the chance to stay on campus, work with students they already know, and also meet some students at the same time, it'd be very, very uh, you know, vital for their college experience and also for their future endeavors. There's uh, many different people that we work with with this internship, which is awesome. Whether it's other broadcasters or it's the coaches and players. And just being able to communicate with them on different levels has been huge and it's definitely gonna help me going forward, I think, if I wanna pursue this as a career. But with the internship program, I wanted to achieve something that not many schools in our conference and really in the entire region at this level have and that's uh, some sort of broadcasting program. That's what I really wanted to get out of it and I think we're headed in the right direction. We have more and more interns every semester and it's something that's become much bigger and better every single year. Since we implemented the internship program, uh, we've taken off. You know, with the TriCaster and with two or three camera shoots, uh, post-game interviews, pre-game interviews, uh, it's, it's taken off and it's it turned from a game that we host to an event. As an intern, whether you're a video editor, a production staff member, or a broadcaster, you're able to interact with administration members in the athletic department, as well as coaches and players, and you develop relationships with everyone. Well, whenever I have an opportunity to interact with the interns, I find them to be very professional, uh, efficient. Uh, I always feel after games, before games, any interviews, they're uh, you know, well-educated, well-versed on what they want to ask. Uh, and they do it in a very timely, professional manner. This broadcast program can only get better and better from here on out. My hope down the road is when people hear Eastern Connecticut, they think sports broadcasting.